good day guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i want us to talk about how i made these 3d models in just few seconds if you love to follow up there is a link in the description okay let's begin our generation with text input let's try a share all right this is what rodin is giving us if you don't like this you can just simply regenerate and it's going to provide a it's going to provide another option for you so i think i'm going to do i'm going to go with this one or oh, no you can delete it and just start the whole process again text input share and okay okay i love this one so i'm going with this one rodin allows you to impute more than just one image but i don't want to go for that right now so let's cl click on generate and let's see what this is giving us well as you can see this is looking so good from the first trial okay there are some few settings we can modify to fine-tune our 3d model so we have stuff like uh, symmetric geometry um, we have sharp edges smooth edges so i'm playing around with them and i'm retrying the whole thing by just clicking redo to see what the model looks like okay at the top right corner we can see our history that shows us all of the versions we have gone through by clicking on redo so i'm going with my second option so i just have to click on confirm and rodin is going to generate a 3d model for us so this is our 3d model and we are able to preview the 3d model in different type of modes we can see the geometry we can see the wireframe mode okay it's time to add some materials to our model we can use the image the same image the ai2 generated for us as the base for the material or we can impute an image from our pc from our system well, i'm going to go with this image and i'm just going to click on generate okay here is the material that rodin is giving us but i'm going to play with the settings a bit just to see what these settings can give me okay i think i love this one so i'm just going to click confirm it's time to select our file format so for this particular model i'll be using the fbx and for the material i'm going with pbr and the texture size i'll be using 1k that's enough for me so I just click download to get the file in my pc okay let's go for another trial something more complex this time so let's go with futuristic car and this time i'm going to make use of theory images i think so let's use um sci-fi car for this second option okay so we are trying to mix different kind of cars together so for the third one let's do something like alien I now have the three images I want to use, so I just have to click on Fusion to merge everything together. As you can see, we now have a 3D model that looks a little bit like all of the images we added. From the weight settings, you can decide whether this 3D model should look like the first image, the second image, or the third image. You can see that the front of the car looks a little bit like the alien. So I'm just going to click on Confirm once I'm okay with my 3D model. So I'm using the picture of the yellow car, that's a sci-fi car, to generate a texture for the model. So for the file format, I'm going with the GLB this time, PBR texture and 1K size. Let's do one last 3D model. This time around, let's try a character. So I'm going to impute a picture of a character I have on my PC here. So let's make use of two. That's the second picture so i'm also going to fuse them together by clicking fusion okay this is what we have if you remember from the first trial you can fine tune your 3d model by playing around with the settings the symmetric geometry the smooth edges and see what you get so i think i love this already so i'm just going to use the same image as the texture so it looks a little bit rough but this is fixable in blender or you can try something else you can try a different picture and see what the software is giving you 
So I'm heading into Blender and I'm going to export all of these 3D models and I'm going to try to make a scene with them. If you made it to this part of this video, I want to let you know that Road Engine 1 is a must-have for anyone in 3D modeling industry. It does not only streamlines the process but also enhances your productivity, allowing you to focus on your creative vision without being bogged down by technicalities. Before I wrap up, here is a friendly reminder, please subscribe, like, comment, share this video. Thank you guys.